Pathfinder, your Friday Night Fly recipe for the weekend. Today we're going to be tying up a woolly bugger with a flash tail. Uh, the reason we're tying this fly is it's an attractor pattern and it's really good for this time of year. It sinks down and it represents so many different things. Uh, stone flies, leeches, minnows, just about anything you want and it's always a good go-to fly if you don't know what to throw in the water. So to start with I'll tell you what we're going to be using. We'll be using a size 8 streamer hook and followed by that we will be putting on a 1 8 gold cyclops beads. Uh, Dragonfly makes really good ones, really good tying materials. We will be wrapping the hook in wire, get it nice and heavy to sink it down to the bottom and then we will be covering our hook with some olive uh, sparkle blend dubbing. Over top of that we'll be putting on some black rooster hackle for some legs and also some black marabou for the tail. Um, and then we will be wrapping the whole thing in copper wire. So, to start with, we will be pinching the hook off. Let's uh, maybe show the recipe online here too. All that's there, which is backwards and upside down. <laughs> okay. Just give me a second to readjust here. Zoom action. Okay, buddy. Okay, we've just pinched the barb off the hook. And I'll slide our gold bead on over top. Actually, one thing I forgot to mention, key part in the tail, is the crystal flash and the black marabou. So we'll give the hook a little wrap. Pinch that off. So we've just got the bead, the hook partially wrapped in thread. Now we'll be sticking our wire on to start. Give it a good little wrap. And we'll wrap that on down the shank. We'll just wrap over our wire. Most of the way down. We don't want to go down to where it starts curling down because then we get a funny shaped tail. We'll take some black marabou. like to tie about the, the complete length of the hook, so grab your material, pinch it off, and get a couple quick wraps. Take off the excess, and then we'll add our little bit of crystal flash. We'll give that a couple of wraps. Again, cut off the excess. Now we'll take our wire, wrap that on. It's going to be the last thing. It's kind of going to be the uh, binding agent for our our fly. So we've got our wire. We'll just leave it hanging out the back there for a bit. Well, we take our dubbing, dubbing's a funny uh, material, it's just about all the time 
less is more when you're trying to apply, so it's better to take smaller pinches, twist it on. So I'm just going to take a little pinch. I've wet the, wet the thread a little bit. Some people use dubbing wax. I like to tie on a budget, so I just use spit. You can see I've got a nice little wrap of dubbing there. So I'll give that a wrap around. Wet the line again. And a few more pinches. find some of the synthetic blends of the dragonfly dubbing uh, stick a little easier than the traditional uh, hair blended dubbings. And we'll take it up. We don't want to crowd the the bead too much because we still have to put our hackle on. So you want a nice, uh, not too big, not too small size feather. Um, I've gotten rid of all the fine plumage at the bottom because that just makes a mess and swims funny. You want to, you really want to kind of simulate some legs here. So we'll tie it, bend down towards the back few wraps and then can grab our hackle pliers and we're just going to do a few wraps. The reason we bend it towards the back is you can see the angle of the feather naturally goes towards the rear. So now we have our hackle wrapped we're going to take our piece of wire that we had sitting alone at the back for so long. We're going to give that a nice tight wrap to bind that hackle down. And then it's just a case of wiggling up through the plumes on the hackle. So we're not pinching them down, letting them sit nice and proud. Working our way up. On through the fibers again. As you get towards the end, you'll notice I've left the tab of the feather sitting out. So we can get a few good wraps on there with the wire and really bind it together because there's nothing worse. And going out fishing and having your fly blow up when it's twilight and hard to fix. We'll do a few wraps around the wire. And then we can take our scissors and cut that wire and the end of the hackle. And a few good little wraps. Again, we can take our scissors and cut off what we have left of the hackle and the hackle pliers. There we have it. Now all we have to do is a couple of whip finishes. If you want to pretty it up, you can cut a bit of the flash away. And there you have it. Your flash tail woolly bugger. Now there's a few other things you can do that I find helps a lot as you go with the season. You can play with all the colors of your hackle. Like this one, I've got some sort of red rooster hackle on there. A smaller bead. You can also play around and add rubber legs. That always seems to help, especially in the later fall months when the stoneflies are around a lot. 
and play with the colors too. Greens work really well. Um, have fun with it. Do do what you like, and uh, that will get them. That is Pemberton Fish Finders Friday Night Fly recipe for the weekend. The flash tail woolly bugger. <laughs>